Hey everybody, so <clears throat> sorry that I look crazy. I just had surgery yesterday and I can't really use both my hands to like fix my hair or anything like that. Um, yesterday I had a subacromial decompression in my shoulder. Um, the reason for me having that is uh, due to my EDS, I guess the narrow spacing in the area from the shoulder to the muscle was pressing on a nerve uh, and so it impinged is the area and my bone is not straight like a normal person's it's actually curved and when it's curved that's when the impingement occurs on the nerve so when that happens it creates constant pressure and pain in your shoulder it's hard to pick it up um, it has constant pain even when you're sleeping you're waking up and the pain just never goes away because the space is so small that when your shoulder's rounded and the nerve is there, it keeps hitting and hitting. And I had been facing that for um, more than three years and it has gotten progressively worse. And I did have um, stem cell, but that only gave it a little space because of the bone that was pressing so hard on that nerve area that made the impingement. So I talked to my doctor, my EDS doctor, which is Dr. Sarah Kelly, who diagnosed me with EDS. And I wasn't sure if I could actually get the procedure, but I kind of really wanted it because I was not able to do anything like riding cars, pick up my arm to do my hair, brush my teeth, um, just basic physical demands like cooking and cleaning and bathing and just all those normal things that we take for granted that we can really do. I wasn't able to do them sometimes and it was very hard and the pain radiated down under my arm and it actually happens on both of my arms, but my right one is not as much pain as the left. So I wanted to do both at the same time, but he was like, no, you can't do that. And I was like, oh man. Uh, so I decided just to do one. And he said, if I wanted to do another one, we would have to wait two weeks and then we can do the other one. But I might hold off if I feel better because I don't really like doing surgeries um, because of my Ehlers-Danos. Uh, and the uh, complications that we have with our body, so I will probably hold off. Um, going back to, uh, I spoke to Dr. Kelly and she is a EDS doctor here. Uh, she's in Richmond, Texas actually, and she diagnosed me with EDS. She actually has had it done twice on one of her shoulders as well. And she said that they were low risk and it would really improve the way that I was feeling. So she suggested that I do it. So. Uh, she signed off on the clearance for me and I went ahead and did the surgery yesterday. Um, they said to arrive at 9 um, and to have my insurance card and like my ID. With my insurance, it cost me about $600, but I also signed up to get PRP inside it. PRP is just taking your blood out and re-injecting it uh, into your body to give it natural healing uh, capabilities to help it heal better and faster. So that was 600 that I paid for that and they did it at the same time. Um, I arrived there at nine, they didn't take me back and till like 10, then they got me ready, which they put an IV in me, They I was in the bed and then they did like a nerve block. Um, if you could see where this thing is right here, they went, through with like some kind of needle and sprayed all this stuff in there to make my nerves go numb so I wouldn't feel them so the pain wouldn't be so intense for the whole day after the surgery. So the doctor went in and, and like gave me these, uh, he went in with a sonogram machine and watched, or got, went around my nerves to block them all out. Uh, it was like, like five or 10 shots he put in there and it was like a lot of pressure. Um, the girl who did it was like, didn't know how to do it. She was like her first time. So she kind of pushed the fluid really fast and it would like bubble up. So it kind of burned really bad. It was kind of uncomfortable. But um, after about like five minutes, my whole arm was numb. It was like dead. I couldn't feel it or anything. So I had to kind of like keep pulling it by me because it kept like falling off the bed, which was good, I say, because after the surgery, I wasn't able to really to feel it. Um, after they blocked up my arm, the doctor came and saw me. Um, he 
put his initial on the arm of where he was going to operate on. You know, they come and ask you the questions about when's the last time you eat and all that. You can't eat um, at after 12 o'clock the previous night. You need to stop eating before. You needed to wear like a button up shirt like this, like I'm wearing, um, so they can button it up in the front because you can't pull a, a shirt over your head and you won't be able to really move. So uh, this whole area is really puffy. So you need to wear a big shirt with loose sleeves and a button up in the front, which would make it easier to help them, to help you to get dressed when you're ready to leave. Um, so after the doctor marked off the area, um, they gave me an IV and then, um, you know, just for fluids. And then the doctor came and talked to me, told me about the procedure, told me that I would be next. Then we went to the back uh, around like two o'clock. So when I went back there, they had started injecting the medicine um, for me to go to sleep. So I really didn't remember very much, which I always love that part. I just remembered waking up. Uh, and I was really, really cold. I kept shaking, so they brought like a heater for me, um, and I wouldn't stop shaking. And I was so hungry because they didn't eat the night before. I ate at like five o'clock, and they had given me until like twelve o'clock. But since uh, my digestion and stuff is always kind of messed up, I tried to stop eating way ahead of time, um, so I wouldn't have any issues. But I was freezing, and then when I got done, they gave me graham crackers and apple juice, which was good. I was so hungry, and then they let me go home. It's just an in and out procedure. So after that, I just came home. They gave me some Tylenol threes to take and some um, antibiotics. So I've been taking those, but it's kind of um, painful, I guess you could say, on a scale. It's I'm probably like at a seven or something. And dealing with EDS, I'm always having other bodily pains, so that's kind of worse for me. But um, I wanted to do this because my goal after this is to have um, physical therapy. That way, now that I have that space in my shoulder, I will be able to gain muscle so I can become strong again. That is my overall agenda from this surgery. Sorry, my dog, she keeps coming over my leg. Piggy! <laughs> her little ears are poking up she's been coming to bother me because she knows that I'm here and she wants to come and be with me but anyways so um all right now I have a sling on and I have this I don't even know what it is I didn't even get to see it but it's like all this foam and stuff but I will have it taken off they said two days after I will go for an appointment and I will have a follow-up and on the third day, I will start physical therapy. They gave me exercises to do as well, like put your hand on the wall, crawl up, uh, swing your arm clockwise and counterclockwise. I haven't done that yet because I still have this thing on and I'm still in pain. So I'll be waiting for their call. Um, if you have any questions or anything else you would like to know about this surgery, just leave me a message and I will get back to you. But... I'm hoping that the surgery is one of my last things that I need in order to get over my Ehlers-Danos um, pain in my arms because I sometimes feel like giving up and when you have to do a lot of this stuff all alone and you don't have family, it's even more difficult because you don't have people to support you. And that's kind of like what I face, but I keep pushing forward so that I can do the things that I want in life and the things that I miss. So I'm still pushing through. Uh, I'll keep you updated on my next things that I do to help for my EDS. Thanks.